everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Kenna, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the first part of my playthrough of Hollow Body. We will be playing as Micah or Mika, an unlicensed black market shipper whose partner Sasha has left and or disappeared. We've been looking for any sign of Sasha for about 12 days with no luck. It isn't until a friend of ours comes across information to the possible location of Sasha. Unfortunately, this information will lead us into something that is known as the Exclusion Zone. That's always a good sign. I'm going to leave a link to this game down in the description box for you all. Right now on Steam, this game is on sale for $15.29 USD until September 19th. And then it is going to be regularly sold for $16.99. But without further ado, I've been looking forward to this game. I say new game it and uh, let's have a ball. Select your combat difficulty casual, reduced enemies with weaker attacks, intended, the intended gameplay experience. Well, obviously, we're going to go intended. Play the game the way it was meant. In the mid 21st century, a catastrophic incident unfolded along the western coast of the British Isles. A suspected bioterrorism attack of unknown origins, targeting one of numerous British cities long since plagued by economic hardship and depravity. As panic swept the nation, authorities and private security firms raced against time to evacuate the fortunate few deemed high value citizens to the neighboring city of Aonis. A sprawling metropolis constructed atop a man made landmass floated in the expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean. Fearing the unchecked contagion could spread, towering walls were erected around the western cities, sealing them off from the rest of civilization. Weeks of relentless orbital strikes rained down on what were once bustling urban centers, incinerating any vestiges of hope for those abandoned within the quarantine zone. Six long decades have passed since the fall of the western cities. While many who suffered strive to forget, there are still those fighting for answers and justice. You built tall walls, but did, is it airborne? Did you put a dome over the new place? UN RPC research team, city limits. White cliffs of Dover, it ain't. So, Ooh. Sasha, time to spill the beans. Huh? <laughs> What's your trauma? I'm not sure. I get what you mean. Come on, we've all got one. Signing up with an underfunded group of activists, pushing back against everything those fuckers hang over us. You don't make a call like that without some kind of beef. Personally, mine's pretty vanilla. They took my son. Oh, jeez. Really? I'm sorry. Eh, that's public schools for you. Kid fell into the wrong group, got offered a way out. He signed up two years ago now. I've heard stories. Yeah, I raised him to be smarter than that, or at least I thought so. Okay. I always find a way in. Fill the kids' heads with lies. I'm looking for answers. My mother was one of the kids that made it out. Her parents weren't so lucky. We almost finally screwed up. That much they couldn't hide. I'm just sick of no one being held accountable. Right, hence this team. You wanted to get close. Start at the source and work your way back. Yes, something like that. She passed two months back now. I guess, I guess this is just my way of making sense of that. I'm sorry. It's an old familiar story. You among friends here. We'll get answers no matter what. I hope so. Make your way to the beach with Charlie. Doing it. Um, this game is fully controller supported. And in fact, the dev suggests using controller. And for the record, they sound muffled uh, to me as well. 
the volume settings are up as as far as they can be. I, I am a little bit worried they're in kind of like yellow hazmat suits, I swear to God, if I end up in the back rooms. I, it would also suggest that perhaps whatever the contagion is or, or what have you, it's airborne if they're wearing like respirators. We're here. Hey guys, no Mark. No Mark. I said there was heading back here. Had to ask you about something? Yeah, he's, uh, he's not here. I mean, obviously. Mark! Buddy! Got a job to do here! You didn't say anything else? No, he just bailed halfway up the hill. Yeah, I'll be around somewhere. Sasha, why don't you check along the beach whilst we finish setting up here? He's probably off taking a dump or something. Lovely. Sure, yeah. <coughs> I'm on it. Uh. So whatever it was that affect all the fishies, there's a lot of dead fish on the beach. Okay, left bumper to Ron. Lady Hearth. Anything? Invisible wall. Okay. No mark over her ear. So this is Sasha. We were never, in the demo, we were never introduced to Sasha. Just don't go get yourself lost too. I owe. This all looks fancy and expensive. Let's break it. Can't do it. Sorry. I tried. Alright, so they seem to think the people in charge were up to shenanigans. What are we, are any of us surprised? The girl looks like she has been riding horses for decades. Look at this bow luggedness. Oh, footprints. Leave only footprints. Take only memories. Hello? Mark? Oh, where could you have gone? I guess I see I see what looks like a fence. Maybe I should just stick to the footprints in the fence. <laughs> oh, girl, the run is hideous. Mark, hello, Mark, come on, we've got a job to do. I can never trust a guy named Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I guess that's like a crevasse up there. Just following the path, man. Ooh, what's that? Is that a mask? Uh, Mark? <laughs> is that you? It is. Oh, he took. Did he take it off? Uh oh. Dude, no. You head back back and you tell your friends didn't find any sign of them, but there's kind of an opening in the cliffside. I can't believe she is doing this by herself. That's so stupid. And where'd you pull that flare from? You know what? I think it's best we don't ask. Just the straight and narrow here. Ew, and bugs. Hmm. All bad, everything. Oh, wow. D 
sitting here and hit the bottom. That must go really far down. Uh oh. Mark? <laughs> Ew. Red skull? Oh, I didn't like that, like, laugh. It's kind of creepy. Mika or Micah's apartment. City of Aeonis? How do you pronounce that? Twelve days later. Meek, my guy pulled through. He's got the pass. Are you sure you want to do this? She's still out there, Tax. Somewhere. Scared and alone. I get it, Meek. You got about 24 hours before the clearance gets flagged. You missed that window, and I got two lost friends. Ooh, girl. Look at that. <gasps> I love it. My guy's waiting on the east sheets, borrow seven near the underpass. Once he's flashed the clearance mod on your hover, he'll set you up with some block of fluid. You'll need to take it when you're about an hour from the city limits. Tag, but you know as well as me, anything happens out there, and you're on your own. Last chance, Meek. You sure this is the right call? She's coming home, Tax. All right. This might be where the demo started. Coming up. Hi, Mouse. Okay. <laughs> Four hours later. I guess those are the walls up there on top of the cliffs. Okay. I think we're in the exclusion zone. Maybe this was like a, a ground zero type of thing. I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I need an evac plan. I had to find a vantage point, someplace high enough to get a signal through on my radio and call for help. Oh, there's nothing to it but to do it. This wasn't over. Who knew? In the future, DeLoreans make a comeback. Tax. Uh, tax. Do you copy? Yes, so I do believe this is how the demo began. 
Pretty sure we can't get into any of these houses. I can't even get up on the stoop, so no. <laughs> that answers that question. So I think we need to... I love that. I love that. That kind of popping up on the screen. That kind of um, UI. Okay, so I think there's an ambulance up here that has a health spray. We can't run. I can't run. Just for the record. Okay. A medical repair spray has been left in the back of the ambulance. Take it? Hell yeah, take it, girl. Alright. <sighs> Thank God Nanotech doesn't have a shelf life. Oh, wait. Wrong one. I hit the wrong thing. Hold on. Okay. How do controllers work? Oh, wow. spray. Let's inspect. Personal repair spray used to treat open wounds. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Alright. We're in the green, baby. We're good. And we can run. I can't remember if there's anything down here. Oh, yeah. These are interesting. There we go. What do you think you're doing? My husband has work in the morning. It's just a precaution, Mom. All residents are advised to stay in their homes until further notice. This is absurd. You have no right to tell us what to do. Just wait till my man hears about this. We understand the inconvenience, but failure to comply will result in a blacklist for you and your family. You shut your blacklist! Let me through! Arm um, state regulation requires you to be compliant in any and all mandated. Found the first signal. Nice. Let's see, my trusty COTAC. It's old tech, but near impossible for someone to monitor this signal. Love the inventory system. You can see like her eye blinking in the background. That's so cool. Um, we got a revolver. It is empty, but we do have six ammo. Do I want to? Now I don't think I need to equip that just yet. Whoa. Twirly, twirly. I'm fairly certain there's not a whole lot to do out here. I, I like that. I'm, I'm just going to call it Kotak, the radio. It's it's like she it, it picks up on old radio signals. And considering the look at the place, it's like listening to, I guess, ghosts. Hold wide. Open quick selection menu. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Let's see how fast I forget to do that. Wait, what? It sounded like somebody stepped on like a metal grate. I don't think we're alone. We see, I can't really, that's about as far as the camera will turn. Um, if you are a psychopath, there is an option for tank controls. <laughs> I don't know why you would choose that. Okay. So one of the appeals to this game to me was the the look of it it's very kind of blade runner s like tech noir and kind of silent hill okay i don't oh these camera angles oh wait looks like the street was intentionally closed off but what were they trying to keep out never mind you need to get a signal through to tax i think i saw an alleyway leading to the apartment block back by that rusty mech 
That's all right. It took me forever to find this damn thing in the demo. I was running around like a loser forever. Damn, dude. I, I gotta be honest, considering that cold open, I don't have a good feeling for Sasha. <laughs> I don't I don't know, man. Okay, did it did that do that on its own or did I bump into it? Okay, there's some I think there's some ammo down here. Alright, uh Harry Tyndall, civil service, condition deceased, cause pulmonary embolism. Yikes. That's a that's not a great way to go. And I like that. I like that kind of like UI that comes up when you find a corpse. It gives you all the information. Oopsie <laughs> daisy. Oh my gosh. It's just like a granddaddy long legs with look at her legs. Alright, here we go. Saved. Are we gonna have manual saves too? Pick up. Gator House Register has been added to documents. Gator. A list of residents found in Gator House. Some names appear to be a moniker. This document must predate the citizen's EID scheme. Miguel Roy, Kim Lambert, um, mm, don't know how to say that. Sully, Bart Martinez, Richard Shilkus, Keenan Ward, Declan Masterson. Oh, or maybe these. Okay, these might be like backers. Aw, that's cool. Oh, Sasha's letter. Mika, honey, you might want to be sitting down for this one. I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel. But this is too important to me. I'm losing sleep over this shit. I keep running it through my head over and over, and each time I feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I don't need you to understand. I just need you to know that this isn't about you and me or some one-way trip. I'm not going there to die. I'm going because I need to know something. The team's all checked out. We've got to weigh in and in an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it. Please don't hate me. I love you. Hold on a tick. Storage box locked with a large padlock. Maybe I can find a way to pry it open. Okay. Give me my crowbar. Pretty sure the elevator does not work. There's no power running to the elevator. What does it say? Oh, we used to be happy. There was like a particular apartment next out. The lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Stairs it is. You put those long legs to good use, Mika. Gate is locked tight. Further and further up we go then. Oh wait. It won't budge. My torch is already on. Coming in. Put the kettle on. Oh my god, my shadow scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Wait. Prompt. The sink is filthy. Okay, well, I mean, have you seen the rest of the place? Doesn't look too great either. <laughs> oh, repair spray. Nice. I'm probably going to need it. I 
And look at the herringbone tile. Fancy schmancy. Ooh. Somebody got impaled. There's something pierced through their stomach. Oh god. I guess they got on the wrong side of someone with nothing to lose. No, they did it to themselves. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Ooh, ammo. Nice. An old Darling Tsukumo D-Series revolver, a favorite among private security firms. Well, let's go ahead and equip it, and then X, X marks the spot to reload. All right, feel a little bit better. Love the kind of low droning music in the background. Don't look back at that door, Mika. You can't open it. Oh my god, it is so pitch dark. I think it is a while before we come across any enemies, unless the dev did something prior to release. Oh, wait. Your door was open. I'm coming in. You'd have to be pretty short to lie down comfortably in one of these things. Showers just make so much more sense. I have to agree, I'm a shower person. It's clogged with something I'd rather not think about. I, I don't like bathtubs, like baths, because you're just laying there and all of you is just splayed out. And it's like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> There's ammo on that porch. Hold Jesus. on. Oh. Oh, you're the dude we need. Let's see, Thurston M. Unemployed, condition deceased, caused pancreatic necrosis. Yikes. A key card is grasped in the body's hand. Room key has been added to inventory. Two, three. Why do you have that? I don't think that's yours. There's, okay. Um, <clears throat> so the tissue of his pancreas was dying. That's what necrosis means. Tissue death. Just some old trash. Awesome. I'm glad we could have that moment. Okay. I do think there's ammo out here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> like she just like throws her head down to look down at it. Is there anything weird? Do we see any movement down there? No. Ooh, another health spray. Maybe. Don't tease me. Don't tease me, girl. Oh, wait a minute. Newspaper article has been added to documents. Newspaper, November 16th. Social enrichment charity Sherwood announces monumental investment to revamp Barnston's infrastructure and economy. Barnston, November 19th, 2063. In a groundbreaking move set to redefine Barnston's landscape, Sherwood, a philanthropic organization, has declared plans for a transformative investment aimed at revitalizing the city's infrastructure. The initiative aims to usher in a new era of prosperity, promising job opportunities, and modern transit systems in a city marred by economic struggle and social challenges. In a statement released by Sherwood CEO Sarah Reynolds, the organization expressed its commitment to fostering positive change. Quote, we believe that every community deserves the chance to thrive. Our investment in Barnston aims to create a sustainable and vibrant future for its residents by addressing the systemic issues that have held the city back for far too long, end quote. The announcement sparked enthusiasm among residents, businesses, and officials. Mayor Robert Thompson hailed it as a turning point, welcoming Sherwood's commitment and the transformative potential. Sherwood's plan not only underscores their dedication to social welfare, but also highlights the potential for private entities to play a pivotal role in uplifting communities facing socioeconomic challenges. As plans unfold, anticipation mounts for the monumental changes that lie ahead for the city of Barnston. For inquiries or statements regarding the ongoing project, please contact Shoreda Estate State Management Limited at, there you go, written by Amit Law, contributing writer. Hmm. I'm wondering if Sherwood had something to do with what happened here.
I'd rather not risk catching something. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to take a shower in this place. This elitist here. Oh. Hit me, Kotak. I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they worked it out. Alright, that was second signal. Hey, at least I'm finding the signals in, uh, in order. Ugh. See, I told you she's fine. It's full of old, rotten garments. More death. So many of these people didn't make it out. There was, I thought you had more that you discovered. Oh, wait. Oh, pile of trash. Okay. Anything else? Wait, I don't think there's anything. I think this is like a dead end. Yeah. Nothing hiding in the boxes? No. Fourteen. Ooh, wait, was that breathing? Okay, wait, we'll check on that on the way out. The sink is filthy. Oh, pick up. Oh, no, it's, oh God, I feel like I'm picking up a lot of health sprays. It smells like someone died in here. Okay, yeah, Mika, read the room, hun. I think uh, quite a few people died. Yeah, case in point. Catherine Dowell, unemployed, deceased, caused acute dehydration. Can you imagine? Ugh. There's nothing of any use here. Gross, the sheets are stained. Well, I can't, I think whatever happened caused these people to basically be locked in this area. And they, basic, they basically starved and obviously uh, dehydrated to death. Yeah, what is that? I think that's something breathing. So things are gonna get dirty. They're gonna get a little messy, Mika, okay? Uh, 
Uh, wait, have you been this way? What ro Wait. Is this 2 3? Yeah, we've got the key card. We picked it up from that dude. Who looked like he had like the VR headset on. Alright, uh, use. Yeehaw. It won't budge. Oh, we can't make any witty quips about the bathroom sink and shower. Alright, I think... The floor has collapsed leading to the room below. Jump down? Hell yeah, we jump down. Right on top of that missile. Let's have a look see Lou. I don't think there's a whole lot around here. Except for that phone. <laughs> you, you want to explain that? Why that little plushie came after me? The child's drawing has been added to documents. Drawing. If I was a bazillionaire, I would buy mommy a new daddy and get pizza every day. Buy mommy a new daddy. There's a better way to have phrased that child. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Charlie Garwell? Adolescent deceased. Aspiration pneumonia. God. Like, none of these people had a happy or quick death. Acute dehydration. It's filthy. No way I'd sleep in something like that. Pulmonary embolism, pancreatic necrosis. A hammer lies embedded into the family portrait. Absolutely take it, darling. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, wait a minute, wait. A missile lies dormant, buried under the rubble. Is it active? I don't want to wait around to find out. Now give it a good kick. Just kick it. See what happens. Moshi moshi. Uh, hello. Is uh, is anyone there? You don't belong here. You stayed where it's warm. That little sparrow. I'm sorry. Who is this? Patience, baby bird. Did it barely spread your wings? How are you... How is this line still active? Something you refuse to die. Why are you talking like that? This is my home. This was always my home. Right. Yeah, this is a waste of my time. I'm hanging up. Watch out for the strays. They haven't had a proper meal in weeks. Creepy fucking robot. <laughs> We do have manual saves. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and make a save then. Um, that wasn't Sasha by chance, was it? The radiator appears to be damaged. Yeah, this is how we remove it. And then we use the claw hammer. Okay, so this first half isn't really um, that different from the demo, like at all. So this first part, first part, we might be getting through pretty f at, at, at a decent pace. All right, so just use the claw hammer. So Sasha was looking for answers, I guess, in conjunction with her mother's death. What caused it? Who was directly responsible? And then Mr. Beautiful kind of came up on her in the uh, the cave. Maybe it infected her? 
Maybe this is where Sasha lived with her mom back in the day. I, I don't know, man. This thing hasn't been cleaned for years. I feel the old bathtub. A pool of still water sits at the bottom of the tub. Lord Jesus, I've had planes and trains going by all damn morning. Somebody's banging on the wall. I don't like that. You're freaking me out. Please stop. The kitchen's been filled with old rubbish bags. Rubbish bags. Ah, oh, the smell is revolting. We just call them garbage bags here in the States. <laughs> A small child's bed. Various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry or... Well, what do you think happened? What what have you come across the most there, Mika? Well, they it did say that some people did get out at the beginning. I guess this is where the parents slept. I wonder what happened to them. I hope they got out. I'm thinking we're looking at about an 80-20% chance of that having had happen. Having had happen? What does that even mean? It doesn't look like I can interact with anything. There's the hole we crawled out of. Gate is locked tight. Let's take a sharp right and see what's down this way. Mm. Let's go this way. Let's go away from the banging. Oh, wait. What's this? Munitions, I think is what it says. Well, how do I get into it? I'm trying to interact. I don't, I don't want to, like, shoot it and waste a bullet. I won't even lock onto it. it. This has like a, an auto lock. So. Wow. This looks terrible. What is this stuff? Well, at least the bathtub's clean. How? Comparatively, anyway. How is it clean? Look at all this gunk on the walls and on the floors and this? What is this? Okay. Ammo. We love it. Well, there's a big box of potential ammo out there. I just don't know how. Is that stuff coming from outside? It spreads like mold. Jeez, I hope it's not airborne. Yeah, probably should have brought something with you. All the cupboards have been stripped bare. They cut off the city and left all these people to starve. Someone needs to answer for this. I think that's what Sasha was trying to do. It's all over the walls. I'm with Mika on this. It looks like some kind of mold. Ethan Winters, is that you? <laughs> Alright, really only one way to go. Towards the banging. With the lovely, I guess, blood trail? Mm-hmm. An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails in is embedded in the door. Take it. Makeshift club. Hell yeah. That's not a bat. Unless you're talking about like a whiffle bat. Does an enemy come out? I feel like there's a, a part where an enemy comes busting out of a room. I guess not. Okay. Hmm. I don't hear the heavy 
breathing, right? It's just a sink. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 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 okay. We've got like our first puzzle coming up. A university diploma hangs on the wall. Awarded at the University of Kingsbury to Helen Bridges, the degree of Doctor of Medicine. Okay, I know you're in there. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> a letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, October 4th, 2025. Okay, that's important, if I'm remembering correctly. Let's see if I can remember how to solve this puzzle. October 4th, 2025. We have to do math, I think. Oh. I think we found a stray. God. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. I think we got it. Be gone, thought. I can't stamp on it. Stamp on it. Can't stamp on it. Can't stomp on it. Uh, is one of you Helen? That's Helen. This is ischemic stroke. Jesus. Oh boy. Yeah, like I said, none of these people went peacefully. Okay, now I want this. Personal safe is mounted in the wall. Graduation. Okay, so we need... Oh, shit. No, didn't mean to do that. We need the year of her graduation. But I think there's pictures around that kind of give us clues. And then we have to maths. A young woman celebrating a birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Okay, so it's her 30th birthday. There's a kid that's three or four years old. Okay. Okay, hold on. Three girls at a university graduation. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. Okay. Let me see if I can figure out what I did last time. The demo. So she's pregnant at graduation. So let's go with 20, I think 52. Okay, 2052. A large metal key hides in the back of the safe. Yes. Got it. Okay, so basically what you do, she was born in 2025. That picture was celebrating her 30th birthday. Add those together, 2055. The kid in the picture looked to be about four or three years old. So all I did was take 2055 and subtract four and three. So it's 2052. It was gonna either be 2052 or 2051. It's 2052. Nice little puzzle there. It involves math, which I'm not a fan of, but I mean, we got there. We did it. Take that. It's locked tight. There's no way to open it. Well, not with that attitude, Mika. Can I? Can I? This, this is going to bother me. Can I bash this open? Oh, I hear more breathing. Or wheezing, I should say. Be more specific. Can I, like, um... Hold on. Give me a minute. Let's... Can we bash it open, you think? With the makeshift club? Uh... Hey now. Hell yeah. Use those long legs for something, Mika. Okay, cool. I think there's another enemy. And okay, so these things are called strays. I think it's what the... Mm, someone said on the phone. 
Dude, the breathing gets me. I hate that. Oh, you're still not dead. Okay, let's try the melee. I think that's what that's about. Oh, okay. Yeah, you were down. Oh, God. Holy crap, dude. You suck. Wow. gun shoot you in the damn face coming at me like that how dare you I like how it's crawling after us that's creepy Ugh. root is all hell so tacky okay so we got the key from the safe I think it opens this door oh hi Okay, so once it once it's down on the ground, it's about two shots. Two more shots, I should say. Twirly twirly. Apparently I'm terrible at the melee. Just step on that poor corpse that was left to rot. Yeah. So I think after this, once we open this, I think that's where the demo ended. So we will be going in blind from this point on. So what, we had that lockbox like when we first entered. Who goes downstairs like that? Okay, that's got, okay, so I think it's around this corner. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if we can use maybe the, um, the hammer on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's try the claw hammer. Hell yeah. A long key and an old card reader sit at the bottom of the lockbox. Well, pick it up, girl. Magnetic card writer and GF gate key added to inventory. And like that, we're much richer. Card rewriter note has been added to documents. JC, I finally had all the locks updated. The only resident that refused was that whack job in 14. We'll see if the super can do something about him. Anyway, keep this remapper someplace safe. Next time you lose your card, just hit the master button and swipe any of the spare key room keys. It'll rewrite the card to give you house access. Any of those kids on second give you shit. Again, you call me, yeah? Okay. That's why we still have that card for 2-3. I've already been in that room, Mika. Calm down. So we did that one. Let's see about two, four. Let's see if my big brain is working. Okay, let's um, combine with magnetic card writer. Yeah. Okay, we got master room key. So yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm I'm learning. Hold on. Item. There you go. Master room key. Uh, use. Look at that. I'm gaming. Anything? Useless junk. Nasty tub. It smells like someone died in here. All the brisk witticism that we expect from our young Mika. A television set. This one has been has seen better days. How did you go? 
Alice Hearth, social worker, deceased, caused acute malnutrition. Yeah. Wait. I hate to think how long it's been since these sh those sheets have been washed. They got bigger fish to fry there, Minka. Calm down. Okay. I think you missed your cue there. Probably should have done that as soon as you saw the body, but okay. Didn't they say didn't they say something about 14, though? But I... We didn't look in this. Yeah. There's like a key, but I don't think we can reach it. I can see right through to the ground floor. There's something on the table. I can't reach it with my bare hands. Okay. Master Key. Coming in. Got the m music kicked back in. Thank you for the ambience. Uh, the tub is littered with tiny bones. The smell of bleach is making me nauseous. Oh my god, did we find a serial killer? Ooh. Um... Television set looks like one of the old tube based models. I, I. I do not have a good feeling about this. <laughs> we got some occult stuff happening in here. Um. Really? You don't have anything to say about any of it? Okay. A candle lit dinner for one. Oh, really? Really? That's that's all you got to say? Okay. Well. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, we got... I hate to think what has happened in this room. Sleeping with the dead. Some people are really messed up. Yeah, I... Are we gonna come across the person who... Who stays here? I hope not. The drawers are filled with incense candles and various herbs. I can interact with. Mm. Mm hmm. I guess. I guess you gotta make your own fun sometimes. <laughs> I don't. Um. Wait, what's all this? Oh. Oh wait. Myocardial infarction. Wait, who? Oh, over there in the corner. Sean Bewley. Hi, Sean. Can I... There we go. Look at that. Pick up. What am I picking up? A portable cell battery sits wired into a broken diagnostic device. Take portable battery. <gasps> Will I be able to use that for the elevator, you think? Okay, wait. I have a battery somewhere. Hold on. Give me a minute. There we go. Damaged battery. Oh, it's damaged. Oh, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay. Not what I thought it was going to be used for, but I was luckily in the vicinity of where it needed to be used. Okay, so we just dissolved the foam and we can use the gate key. That did the trick. Apartment two. Let's see what's up in apartment two. Love the sound design. The sound design is fantastic. Television said this one has seen better days. I think this entire area has seen better days. The sink is filled with old plates and stale water. The smells are amazing, I'm sure. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 
Ben Briswell deceased caused intracranial hematoma. He done got bashed on the head. Somebody bonked him real good. Huh? See nothing useful, just some clothes. Well, they're useful to someone, Mika. Bye, Ben. Do I hear something? I do! Hello! No, 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 come back. I'm just gonna pop a few bullets into you, dear. Just a few. gonna have to go. Ugh. I feel like we're gonna crawl under there and there's gonna be a boss fight or something. Julian Goldenberg. A aortic dissection? <gasps> Ugh. Julian, dude. Noise complaint has been added to documents. Noise complaint. I tell them something's off and they have the audacity to tell me it's the pipes. Well, I might not be Captain Obvious, but I already checked the pipes. They don't act up at 2 a.m. I swear to God that if I hear that unit upstairs stomping around again, I'm going up there myself to give them peace of my mind. Effing idiots. Yeah. Old trash. Fantastic. Gross, I'm not done. Okay, I, 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 I don't really care about your little quips. I just think maybe there's something there. It's filthy, no way it's like on something like that. Okay, yeah, I, I just, ammo, first aid. Okay, couldn't pay her to sleep there because she's a snob. I cannot go further. that you can kind of hear a storm outside, like the thunder. Boy, I'm putting off going under that, uh, that security gate thing there. Always did say TV rots your brain. <laughs> no time for jokes, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely getting haunted for that one. Yeah, really. Okay. Finally, she reads the room. Anything I can take? Steal. Full of clothes. Okay. I say steal. I mean borrow. All right, let's not go under that thing just yet. Is it, can't I turn up here? Isn't there another hole? Yes, nice. Oh, this is 14.
Ammo, ammo, ammo. I have to say, pretty generous with the ammo in the first aid. Co-star content creator. See, cause foreign substance. Mercury? Huh? Diary entry has been added to documents. Wednesday, September 6th. Spent most of the day helping Lauren Little Chris move. Work on the old shopping center is due to start tomorrow, and she doesn't fancy her chances of Chris sleeping through the night with all that going on. They told the locals to keep their windows closed because they have people working around the clock. Not exactly making a good first impression, if you ask me. Anyway, the work's slated for two months on Lara's mom, Mims, taking them for the second one, so it shouldn't be too disruptive. It'll be nice having Chris around. Kids bring good vibes into the house, and he can't get enough of my old consoles. Chris has taken to using a controller pretty well, but still insists on tapping on the CRT like it's a touchscreen. Honestly, it's just nice to have a player, too. It's been years since I've played some of these games. Maybe I can convince Lara to join us for a game or two. I think I still have my multi-tap somewhere. Aww. Start him young. How many do I have? I have 26. Okay. That's not it. Okay. I just, I think there's probably going to go under that gate. And... Wait a minute. I'm going to check 14. Door won't budge is a different type of lock. I don't... Oh. Okay. Huh. good feeling about this. Hey, you remember that day we got stuck at the sushi joint on 7? was locked down that night. Everyone was freaking out, calling their bosses, lawyers, loved ones. But you said you didn't care. You trapped there with me, and as much sushi as you could eat. You said there was no better way to go. Family. And Fosh. You know, that was the first time anyone had called me that. Family. Just the two of us. Making something from nothing. Just the two of us. Da, 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 da. Just the two of us. You and I. Progress. Let's see if this side has roof access. Oh, I was fully expecting something to be on. The side of this door. Oh, no. Oh, good. Another for creepy phone call. Awesome. Oh, 
I can't be here. I... I have to get out. I have to get Sasha, and I have to get the fuck out of here. Be careful what you wish for. Murderer. Hmm. Well, that was fun. All right, we got a note. So you notice to tenants has been added to documents. Oh, dear value tenants, we write to inform you of an important development regarding your residency at Gator House. As you are aware, the property has recently been acquired by Sherwood Estate Management and will undergo certain changes in its management and policies. Following this acquisition, there will be an adjustment in the terms of occupancy and rental prices. Our aim is to enhance the living experience and ensure the sustained quality of the premises. In light of this transition, we kindly request your attention to the terms attached. We understand the significance of this change and its impact on your living arrangements should you find it unsuitable to continue under the updated terms we respect your decision to seek alternative accommodation in such a case we kindly ask that you notify us within the stipulated time frame to facilitate a smooth transition we assure you that the transition process will be handled with the utmost care and consideration for your comfort and convenience thank you for your understanding and cooperation during this transition period sincerely Mike crew yeah Thank you, Michael. <laughs> we don't believe in Neverland. All right, let's see. Um, that looks interesting. A Molotov? Looks like someone set up a makeshift distillery here. There's a half-empty bottle of alcohol. Girl. Hell yeah, pick it up. Okay, wait a minute. Is it just, okay, it's just an alcohol bottle, right? And we do have a lighter. Maybe we're gonna make Molotov? A bottle of 180 proof vodka. Hell of a kick and highly flammable. Okay, and we have a lighter. Hmm. I'm sure it will all come to get there and make sense what is happening. Hello? Mika, honey? Um, I don't, ooh, what the hell happened? I don't know what happened. Okay, we're leaving this silly place. Oh boy. Let's see, stop, identify, extinguish. It's a sign about the fire procedure for this block. It says, in the event of a fire, all apartment doors will unlock. That's just dumb. What if you were in the shower or something? Yeah. People never think about things like that. Okay. I, I don't... She has everything to say under the sun about people's bathrooms and showers, but nothing about this, huh? I can't get in there. I don't think I want to get in there. That looks pretty gruesome. An old bin filled with damp, charred paper packaging. Well, guess what? You want some? You want some vodka? Vodka. I've soaked the contents in alcohol. Yeah, let's uh, let's get the party started. Yeah, great. Let's move it along. Lighter. All right, everything should unlock now. Hmm? Oops. Let's go. We're going in. Ooh. Ha Hans? Winkler? Let's see, sepsis and pneumonia. Dude. Oh, we have a Kotec.
not on <laughs> okay so sometimes what's going on with the water supply oh future wishes has been added okay what do i wish for my future you ask i hope my family leads a happy life that my work remains my passion that my hobbies continue to bring me joy and that the world evolves into a better place for everyone what's certain is that even after death my love for games trophies and collectibles will not fade Obviously, this isn't entirely true. I have now become a collectible myself, waiting to be discovered by the curious. But this gives me hope. Hope that my other wishes will also be fulfilled. Hope for my family's happiness and hope for a better world. I'm confident that I will find rest in a beautiful place. I can smell the roses already. Uh-huh. You're a collectible now, huh? All right. Chopsticks? Some old chopsticks could be useful. Oh, get okay. Oh, that looks like a big old yikes and structural failure right there. Huh? Let's see. Anything? Oh, another locked. Well, guess what? I think I still have my hammer. Hell yeah. Oh. I see 600 volts over there on the left. We can flip the switches. Okay, so we need to get the dial on to 600 volts. Hmm. It looks like a switch is missing, though. There on the bottom left. Are we going to be able to do it without it? Or do I need to go find one? I'm wondering. Shut the front door. Okay. 600 volts. Let's go. Uh. Nope. 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 Oh! <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Is that... I got it, right? I didn't hear anything indicating... Anything changed. Hello? Did anything change? Oh. An old electric guitar could be useful as a weapon? Sure. Okay, so we got this keypad. It looks like this is the exit door, but it's locked with a keypad. I have no idea what the combination is. So we need to find a combination. Okay, yeah, okay. Sorry. Elevator. Oh! Electrician's note. Uh, JC, elevator keeps not elevating. <laughs> Just decommissioned this thing already. It's beyond help. If anyone gets stuck again, flip the switches until the dials match the pictures on the cover. There's a big square button you gotta press when the voltage is right. Oh! I'm serious though. The lift's a death trap. Okay, so I got it to 600 volts, but I didn't, I didn't push the big square button. Let's go push the big square button. 
Did it reset, maybe, though? Oh, wait. Hold on. Or maybe I didn't have it at 600. Wait. Hold on. Brain is doing things. Okay. There we go. You got it. Did it. Looks like that did the yeah. trick. That's what I just said. I feel like we're thinking the same thing. You just you just buzzing and freaking out. No big bats coming. All right, let's get on the death trap. Hello, Mika. Mika Meek. Um, I guess we want to go up because we're trying to find like a high point to establish contact, right? So up, up, and away. Not even elevator music, dude. Come on now. Ooh. It didn't even look like I had a call for help button, dude. Uh. Okay, I guess it was just a little glitch. Oh, I was still in the elevator. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh! It's a person? A malnourished male with an open wound across his face stands before me. He teeters over the eight-story drop to the streets below, casually shifting his weight as he sways to a silent rhythm. It's a long way down. Excuse me. Say nothing. Oh, God. Um, I'm not going to say that. That's a long way down. That's a long way down. Maybe you should take a step back. Wouldn't feel long. A couple of seconds, maybe. Oh, God. He keeps glancing at his wristwatch. An old analog clock. I'd be surprised if it still works. Maybe we should talk inside. You must be freezing. Is that your tent? <sighs> you must be freezing? I feel like that'd be safe. Maybe? Yeah, you must be freezing. Why don't we step inside? Don't tell me what to do. I'm not coming back there. I couldn't tell if he was high at range or just really effing sad. Okay, wounded. Hmm? Please. What happened there? I can help. We can get out of here together. I just need to get a signal through. My partner runs these routes too. He'll help us. Stop acting like you care. The relief I first felt when seeing another living soul here was fast fading. His blunt tone was a cold reminder of the gravity of our situation. I needed to make th that call. I forgot to ask your name. There's more to life than that. Bad things happen, but with time they can heal. Ask his name. Make it personal. I forgot to ask your name. I don't want to be remembered. Okay. His tone shifted, a cold shiver ran down my spine. This man was clearly unhinged. It suddenly dawned on me just how stupid I was to try and reason with him. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. He didn't reply. I could see the tension in his shoulders build as his posture stiffened, his breathing getting audibly louder with each exhale. Again, he glances at his wristwatch. You're wasting time. Try radio. Why do you keep checking your watch? We've got a better chance we work together. Um, why do you keep checking your watch? It's kind of weird. Why do you keep checking your watch? Are you waiting for someone? Death. Shoal beep followed the ca crackle of static emits from my radio. Someone's trying to reach me. It could be tax. Answer radio. Ignore radio. Answer it. Can't help those who don't want to be helped, dude. 
I fumble over the radio as I remove it from my belt. A shrill beep followed the crackle of static rings out. Underneath the layers of noise, I can make out a familiar voice. It's Tex. The radio tries to hold on to a signal, Tax's voice fades in and out of the static. Dude, you gonna do it or not? The radio fades out, cutting off into dead air. Oh, fuck. Thanks for waiting for my conversation okay. to be over. Get to the underground. I can do that. You wanna come with? Well, just like that, he was gone. I don't know if I could have changed his mind. There's a code over there. We're moving on. Hmm, maybe we could have. Don't know if that would have been a smart thing, though. Oh, he had a nice little area over here. There's a torn note on the table. Take torn note. Torn note has been taken. Let's see. Um, I think it said 8053. Oh, I can't open that. Oh, wait. Hmm? Um. Where is it? Maybe it's in my items? Torn note. Wait. Coil wound guitar. A vintage coil wound, or wound electric guitar. The headstock says sugar cane. Got it. Okay. Torn note. Torn paper note with the number 8053. Oh, it's the code to that door. All right. Let's, uh, did homie have anything else up here? There's something, and agree with me or not, let me know if you do. I think the gray kind of melancholy and the infinite sadness. And that scene in particular kind of gives me cry of fear vibes. Anybody else? Just a smidge. Just that kind of hopelessness. All right. Well, that was kind of a downer. Let's get out of this joint. Looks like the exit. Yes, we have the coat. Uh, I guess use. Oh, she'll put it in for us. It's unlocked. Whew. Let's get the fudge out of here. That was a bit of a downer, wasn't it? I mean, I feel like we tried. That man. I failed him. He needed me and I let him down. I can't fail her too. Maybe we could have saved them. Oh, auto save. All right, let's see what's up. Bear spray. We'll go for a little bit longer. Like I said, I kind of want this first part to be, you know, decently sizable. Those lightning effects, very nice. Oh no, enemies. Well, I wonder if we can get around them. 
I would suspect maybe that this is a game where you don't have to fight everything. <clears throat> Got at least two. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's a dog! Ow! What the crap, Fido? Wait a minute. No, no, no. Ow! Okay. You little shitbird. Come here. Did I even hit him? I'm in caution. I, I think I'll leave it there for a minute. Uh, I'm not gonna heal just yet. Um, great dogs, fantastic. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, there's like three plus a dog. Wait, yeah, three. One. Okay, so about, yeah, about once they hit the deck, it's about two. I see you little shit. Come here. Okay. That's not too bad. Two for the dog. Okay. feel horrible about it, but, I mean... Ooh, I don't like the noises they make. it up. Wait, what? Okay, I'm... What is this? Everything's classified. Oh, is this like a soldier? Oh, he's got like tech gear on, dude. Okay. Hmm. So technically you don't exist. So I guess technically you're not dead. Do not. Another one down there. I don't want to go past anything. Okay, that's some. That one. There's one down there on the right. Any stuffs down here? I was for a split second happy to be back outside, but uh, <laughs> I don't. I might have to reevaluate that. care about the dead soldier. Everything's classified. Okay, let's go. Dude, excellent lightning uh, look. Effect, I should say. It just, it, like, illuminates the whole sky up ahead of you. It's very cool. A simple thing, but a cool thing. Ooh, look at that! I love it. came off or something. How many do I have? How many bullets do I have left? Fourteen! Oh no! But I'm not good at the melee. Please let there be more bullets laying around. Ooh. There's something big up there. Oh, I don't like that. I'm sorry. There was something like moving across the sky too. Did you see that? I don't, I don't want to go down there. This is a silly place. Maybe there's some bullets lying around over here. I'm going to have to go down there, I know. I don't know if I have enough. I, I love the effect of the water hitting kind of the camera. Although it keeps making me think like, oh, it's a shiny on the ground or, oh God. Okay. God. 
<sighs> yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, there's really nowhere else to go, is there? I guess we gotta go fight this thing. Let's go full health. It looks big and menacing. Yeah, it's just like the lightning illuminates it up there. It's kind of... It's a bit daunting. Let's go, buddy. You and me. That should be like crazy easy to kill. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, there's a munitions box right there. And some ammo right there. Okay. Stomp it! Mika! Mika! Stomp! Okay, fine, you're not gonna stomp. Ooh. Got hung up. Oh. Well, I mean, it, it took a decent amount of bullets, but that wasn't too bad. Ew. Don't touch me with your tentacle. That's gross. Okay. Let's try opening this again. Mika. Wait, no. Okay. What was the problem a minute ago? Kind of lit up down here. Pick up. I'm sorry. Arrows and a leather quiver. Am I going to get a bow and arrow? Okay, I need a bow. Oh my god. Am I going to get to be a stealthy archer? Holy hell. an enemy down here. Hey. Ooh, the store looks different. Maybe I can go in. It's just another rundown house. I'll leave it alone. Oh, okay, fine. Just most of the doors look white. Oh no, there's another one over there. Okay. Looking to see if there's any munitions boxes on the ground. We just keep going straight, Dave. Enemy. You know what? Let's try the, the no, the melee again. I did it in the demo, and it wasn't too. I I did. Oh my god. Okay. Get, I guess we gotta get close. It's. A little stiff feeling but to be fair oh god it looked like it was about to put its hands in it, its head in its hands 
but some of the the melee and oh my god stupid phone and like some of the older kind of silent hills felt a little stiff too what what yes i'm a murderer murderer speaking gotcha. For my own good. You didn't save him. What? That man was sick. He needed you. You failed him. Just like everyone else. Maybe there's actually no way what we could have saved him. You know? you him. <clears throat> and maybe they were they're just trying to make us feel like we could have start yeah, doubting ourselves. I'm getting out of here. My friends are probably worried sick. You should too, if you know what's good for you. They don't know you like I do. Not really. What? You don't know me. Oh, fuck, why am I even talking to you? Oh, what did you say? How do you know my name? Ooh, no, no, no. Oh. How the fuck do you know my name? <laughs> You're acting irrational. I'm acting perfectly fucking rational given the situation. Who are you? Who put you up to this? Okay, so we're supposed to be making our way to the underground. Alright, let's let's go ahead and keep going a little bit longer. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm intrigued by this story. I'm going to be very interested to see who this person on the phone ends up being. If anybody, maybe she's hallucinating. Maybe coming into this area has maybe infected her with something and she's kind of just slowly going into some kind of mental descent or something. I don't know, man. Okay, another nameless soldier. Oh, that's not that's not a munitions box box, okay. Is this the way to the underground? <gasps> oh! Ew! What are those slugs? Worms? All right, can we go? No, invisible wall. Okay. I like to test the limits of my environment, you know. Oh, that's a big one. you don't want to be standing in the vicinity of that missed explosion or whatever. Okay, can my angle change, please? Nothing, no, okay. It's like a skateboard park. The ramps. Anything pick upable? Another invisible wall.
Maybe there's some ammo in the fan fountain. Aaron Marlowe. Cerebral hemorrhage. God almighty. A wooden bow is grasped in the body's hand. It's missing arrows. Well, guess what? Merry effing Christmas. Am I going to be able to use those as weapons, dude? Wait, 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 Let's get some distance before I start doing this. Okay, so maybe combine bow and arrows added to inventory. Holy shit. Let's give it a shot. What saith you? Do we get our, do, are we going to be able to retrieve our arrows? Ew, these like slugs or worms or whatever gross well oh wow takes less than the bullets dude and we're just automatically good at that can I get my air no okay doesn't look like we can retrieve the arrows let's continue on our adventure in the park like we're Robin Hood or something. It looks like we got some blood on the ground. Oh! Tents! That I can't go in. Okay. Another nameless soldier. Got any ammo? You do. Thank you! So why, why tent cities? I don't, mm. Guess what? Marksmanship is unparalleled. It really helps that there's an auto aim though. <laughs> might actually be the path back to the fountain. Okay. Well, over here on the left. Ooh, I see something red. That's never good. Oh god. Mia Camilla? Acute malnutrition. Whoo! What the hell? A disfigured body hangs from the gate. The body is woven with, with chains. A heart-shaped padlock rests in the chest of this poor woman. An old wallet has been left on the ground. Take wallet? Sure. Worn leather wallet has been added to inventory. Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah, that. Let's go inventory. An old worn leather wallet. Great. Is that it? That's all you got for me? No, there's a digilock house key tucked inside. Okay. House key and wallet inspect. There's an ID card in the wallet. The address seems to be nearby. House number 21. Okay, let's go find house number 21, I guess. Ooh, wait a minute. Dirt path. Where's this go? A 
Hello? Oh, oh go tech. Okay. Let's do the damn thing. So is it like a mass grave? Yeah. Ugh. Oh god. Oh, it smells so unbearable. I bet. So many bodies. Okay, so background checks and everything for the workers or the oh, people they're burying? Apartment complex. I think we just passed the first big in enemy that we came. Oh, there's a, a light in yonder window. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta use where yet? The digilock. Yeah, great. Can we can we use it? Oh, I hit inspect. Sorry. There we go. That sounds like a good B and E. Well, at least it's dry in here. Ah, oh, we got an auto save. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. I am intrigued. I I am very curious as to where this is going and what exactly is going on. I still really love the look of the game. It's fantastic. Like I said, I am getting a little bit of cry and fear in between the Silent Hill and kind of Blade Runner esque look of it. Um, Voice acting is phenomenal. Love the music. Um, I, I, the atmospherics are fantastic. The enemy design is very interesting and, and creepy. And are they former residents that have been turned into these things, or are they something else? I don't know. And then of course the voice on the phone. So yes, I'm hoping to pick this back up come Monday. I kind of want to maybe work on it Sunday and have another kind of biggish video for you Monday so stay tuned thank you for joining me for this one you all have a fantastic Saturday and I will plan to see you Monday bye